Hi, I'm Kath from Veg Patch Kitchen Cookery School and today we're going to look at the difference in baking a loaf in a cold Dutch oven as opposed to a hot Dutch oven. So I've made two doughs with exactly the same ingredients, water temperature, fermentation time and fermentation temperature and one of those I've baked in a Dutch oven that's been preheated and one has gone straight into a cold Dutch oven and into a cold oven. Now I've never baked in a cold Dutch oven before so I'll be really intrigued to see what the results are. So let's get started. So here I have two doughs, um, exactly the same, 500 grams of strong white flour, 7 grams of sea salt, a sachet of Easy Bake, otherwise known as Fast Action Instant Yeast, which is 7 grams as well, and 340 grams of water. I mixed them, allowed them to rest, did a round stretch and fold, rested, stretch and fold, rested, stretch and fold, and then they've had another rest and then they're lovely and airy. I'm going to shape both of them in the same way and pop them into the same size banneton. And then we're going to test these doughs and see which one, um, how they bake with one baking in a preheated Dutch oven um, and one from in a cold Dutch oven and put in the oven on as we load the loaf. Okay, so let's shape them first. You can see it's lovely, strong, airy dough. So to shape for a banneton, I just fold into the center, and that into the center, this side into the center, and I keep going with opposite sides until I get a lovely, tight ball. Okay, and that's going nice side down into the banneton. and then cover these two with proving cloths and leave them to uh, prove their yeasted dough. So um, this kitchen is 18 degrees centigrade, so they will take half an hour, three quarters of an hour to be ready to bake. So I'm going to pop a Dutch oven into the oven now to preheat so that it's ready for the loaf when it's proved. Okay, so I've actually had to go out. Oh my goodness, this is hot. Um, so the loaves are at the point of almost being overproved because I had to go and drop my daughter somewhere. So here they are, ready now to bake. So I'm going to put this one into the hot Dutch oven. I'm going to slash it and do a square on the top. And then, using my heavy duty oven gloves, put the lid back on. And now that will steam inside there almost immediately. It's really hot, going in to the hot oven at 220 degrees centigrade. So in it goes. So this one is going into a cold oven. Here it is. Can you see? It should have gone in really 10 minutes ago, but it'll be fine. And we'll do a square because we want all things to be equal with these loaves. So we'll do a square on this one. And this one, no need for oven gloves because it's cold. And I'm going to put it into the oven and then put the oven on. It's been in there for 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the hot one. The, the hot Dutch oven in the hot oven. Let's have a look. Woohoo! Look at that, you can say. Okay, so the lid can stay off now and it can bake for another 30 minutes um, so that it can crust up. It's done enough rising. So in it goes again to finish browning. Okay, so this loaf has had 45 minutes and this is the one that went into the hot Dutch oven into the hot oven okay so it had 15 minutes with its lid on and it's had half an hour with its lid off let's check the temperature inside okay 94 so definitely baked looking beautiful I have to say so this is a yeasted dough made with 500 grams of um, flour 
and 340 grams of water. Listen to that beautiful hollow sound. Okay, so that looks fantastic. I'm really pleased with that loaf. So that's there. So that's had 45 minutes, the hot Dutch oven method. I'm going to leave the other one that was put into the cold Dutch oven um, and cold oven for another 10 minutes before I even peek at it. Okay, it's been 55 minutes since uh, this loaf was put in. Woohoo, look at that, my goodness. That is looking huge. So let's just have a little. Okay, I'm not sure. I might bake that a little bit longer just because I like a little bit more of a reddish color to my loaves than this one. But let's just check if it is actually baked inside because for those of you that like a lighter loaf, this might be a really good method. Yeah, it's baked inside. So if you wanted a light loaf, this is a great method for getting a light loaf, keeping it sealed in the um, Dutch oven. And it's certainly risen beautifully, um, no doubt about that. It looks beautiful and airy. So I'm going to stick it back in the oven now for another five minutes just to um, get a little bit darker. I'm going to take it out of the Dutch oven and pop it straight onto my solid shelves that are in the oven here. So here are the two loaves. Um, I'm really pleased with both of them actually. So this is the one that was baked in the hot Dutch oven, in the preheated oven. And this was the one that was put into a cold Dutch oven and then into a cold oven and given 55 minutes in the sealed cold Dutch oven. Um, they both look great to me. This one has expanded more. Um, the time in the cold getting to warm, because it's a slow um, heat effect, you do get a bigger proof um, so this loaf proved even more in that cold Dutch oven um, and became bigger than this one. Um, so yeah, this one is um, a little bit more random looking, I guess. This one has more height. Um, this one, I don't know, it's, I mean, you couldn't really, I mean, this one is bigger. Okay, so this one is bigger. I'm expecting when I cut into this, that it's going to have um, larger crumb size, crumb holes in here than it does in here. Um, but actually, um, you know, you can't really say that one is better than the other. What this says to me is use whichever method suits you best. Um, the cold Dutch oven is great because uh, you aren't having to preheat the oven ahead of time. Um, because you have to bake it for an hour, um, it means that perhaps your oven will be on for slightly less time. Um, not a great deal of time. It takes um, 45 minutes for this to bake, and so it, it depends how, how much preheating you have to do of your oven. You may have to do half an hour, three quarters of an hour to preheat a Dutch oven up. So that's worth bearing in mind. This probably takes less energy in terms of oven heating. So it depends on your time scales and really which method you prefer. Um, but this just goes to show that popping it into a, a cold Dutch oven and a cold oven works great. So this is the loaf that was baked in the preheated oven in the preheated Dutch oven. So let's just slice this one in half. Let's see what the crumbs like. So this is a yeasted bread, not a sourdough. Okay, so beautiful even crumb. Um, yeah, it looks really good, looks lovely. That's what I would expect a yeasted dough to look like. It looks great, I'm really pleased with that. So that's the one that was baked in the preheated oven. So let's just test the one that was baked from cold. It's a softer crust on this one, that's for sure. And there you go. So slightly more of a, of a rise here, oven spring. When you hold them side by side like this, you can see 
This one is slightly larger than one that was cold baked. This one has retained its round shape. This one has sort of got a flatter, larger shape. Um, but, you know, the, the difference between these two breads is minimal. Um, and I'm extremely pleased with both of them. So I think the summary is use whichever one, whichever method suits you best for the time that you have. And if you're already preheating your oven for other reasons, use a preheated Dutch oven. If not, use it from cold.